Many calling it a miracle. Police somberly admit uncertainty that he would have survived another day had he not been discovered when he was. I looked inside and moved the white airbag and uh, he, th there was a body in there. Mario Garcia and son-in-law Nervardo de la Torre were walking Salt Creek trying to kill time by scouting fish holes. What they soon would discover left the two in shock, finding 27-year-old Matt Room, who had been trapped in his mangled truck under a bridge on I-94 for six days. And he was very happy to see us. Like, he was really, like, I'd never seen a relief like that. But uh, he was really hurt and everything. And uh, so right away we went into a mode of uh, hey, get up there, call somebody right away, and let's get somebody there. Room was airlifted to Memorial Hospital in critical condition. Room told police a crash happened last Wednesday and he was unable to reach his cell phone to call for help. He told rescuers he survived the six days drinking rainwater. Police believe the crash happened late at night as they see the odds of no one seeing the vehicle go off the heavily traveled highway during the day very unlikely. It's one of the highest traveled interstates in the United States. Officials received no reports of a crash or a missing person. They believe the outcome would have been different if Room wasn't found when he was. Miracle. It really is a miracle that he survived as long as he did. Um, just surviving one day. I, I can't imagine six days. Brad Seavers, who works with Room, says, Since I've known Matt, he has always been a positive, kind, and energetic person. We will continue to pray and support our brother as he begins his recovery. We thank God that Matt is still with us. He also shares Room had surgery Wednesday morning where his left leg was amputated from his mid shin down. Friends have started a GoFundMe to help cover medical expenses. Police want to remind drivers to always be prepared in case of a similar incident occurring. Always have blankets, water, and phone charging abilities handy and let someone know where you are traveling. You know, if you don't show up, you want people to know, you know, last time I talked to, you know, a loved one was they were stopping for gas uh, in South Bend. And Fafield mentioned they aren't sure what caused the crash and room remains in the South Bend Memorial Hospital. For now, Tiana Baxter, WSBT 22 News. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the WSBT 22 YouTube channel.